And the lone injury in this explosion is still recovering at UPMC Mercy tonight after suffering burns to 50% of his body as he ran away from the blast. Today, we spoke with the gas company to find out how this investigation will look and how they'll make things right with those affected. Just thankful I had a house still standing. That the definition of perspective from Mark Johnston, who lives near the site of the explosion. All the exterior siding on the upper side is melted. The shingles are melted. Johnston has already had conversations with representatives from Spectra Energy, who's got a team on the ground talking to those affected. It was covered with this black soot. Cindy Stofko lives a 20 minute drive from the site. Her damage, not significant, but soot on her car and home tells the story about how large this explosion and subsequent fire was. I just didn't think it was air wise this close. We are deeply sorry. Phil West, a representative from Spectra Energy, came to Westmoreland County as the gas company also begins its investigation. Our focus is really twofold. It's to help those that have been affected and to understand what happened. There are three other lines in the same right of way as the one that exploded. The process of draining those lines and making sure they're structurally sound began in earnest today. Forbes Road Fire Department Chief Robert Rossetti says this process could take days and still called the site quote potentially dangerous. We want to do this as safely as possible. So uh, it's going to take a while to draw the gas down. As part of that, Rosati says Route 819 will likely remain closed until at least Monday. Teams from Spectra will also secure a perimeter around the site so as not to hurt the investigation into how this happened. Phil West with Spectra Energy says this particular line was installed in 1981. He says it's common to have thorough investigations of these lines every seven years. He said the last one for this particular line was in 2012. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.